For George Brown, the scars, both mental and physical, are always likely to be with him. When he was four, he was mauled by an American bulldog close to his home in Huntingdon. Three years later, he plays happily with his Labrador puppy, Ollie. His family welcome anything that curbs dangerous dogs. As a grandmother, I still suffer. I still suffer watching, looking at my grandson's face and seeing him how he suffered. So let's prevent that else. The government wants to see victims of dog attacks adequately compensated. Third party insurance is an idea as to how you can deal with that. Of course, predominantly looking at how we deal with those irresponsible dog owners that are responsible for the problem in the first place. At the Dogs Trust Rehoming Centre at Snetterton in Norfolk, they welcome compulsory insurance and microchipping of all dogs. There are always going to be people outside of the rules, sadly, but at least this is, in some ways, goes towards um, helping to ensure that, that most dog owners do have insurance and that they are actually helping to cover both um, human and animal injuries. Well, at the moment it is just a consultation, but even at this early stage, it raises more questions than it answers. Now, it's not really aimed at dogs like this, it's aimed at the owners of dangerous dogs. Now, would they really be prepared to take on insurance and would they really be prepared to have their dogs microchipped? Robin Miles is getting to know Winston and will soon be collecting him from the Dogs Trust home. Does he think it's workable? I don't think it's necessarily compulsory, but then once you start leaving it to the individual, uh, those who have got the money will, those who haven't, or just regardless, uh, couldn't care less in some instances, then uh, I regret to say that they will, they will not. This attempt to curb problem dogs hasn't found much favour with the insurance industry either. Any move to make insurance for the owners of dangerous dogs compulsory uh, would we think be unworkable. Even if cover was available, which it isn't at the moment, it would be very expensive. And the people who it's aimed at are unlikely to take it out as well. So how would you police such a proposal? Jack, yeah, good boy! Graham Hall is a dog trainer in Northampton, describing himself as the dog father. He welcomes the proposal, but says it doesn't go far enough. Unfortunately, the kind of owners who are causing problems and are causing increasing in dog attacks are those irresponsible people who simply will not listen to this kind of legislation. Dog owners we spoke to in Ipswich today weren't really impressed. Well, I wouldn't like it, actually, because um, I don't see why we should all have to pay for certain types of dogs that are, are, are a risk to other people. Insurance, you, more often than not, you don't use it. So, what's the point? And they sent us a letter saying, can't insure your dog no more because he's too old. <laughs> so we thought, well, it's just a waste of time. When, when we have another dog, we're not going to do it. The government may be taking the lead. At the moment, it seems there aren't too many inclined to follow. Malcolm Robertson, Anglia News.